Now, there are more than 10 reasons why you should move to Santa Clarita, but these are the top 10 things I think you should know, things that you should consider when you're thinking about making the move to Santa Clarita. Let's say you're in the greater LA area and you want to move into a safer neighborhood or you're in the valley, you've already always considered it. Maybe you're in the Antelope Valley and this is something that you want to upgrade to. These are some great things to really consider, positive and negative, okay? So I, I like to keep it as neutral as possible. I think it's some great info that you guys should consider. If you guys don't know me, my name is Danny. I'm an agent here with Romeo Echo Real Estate. If you have any questions about Santa Clarita, put it in the comment section down below. I'd love to help you out. So the first point I wanted to go over is kind of a negative one. It's the traffic, okay? So there is a ton of traffic inside of Santa Clarita and leading into LA or the San Fernando Valley, there's kind of a one way in, one way out scenario, and it's down the five or the 14 freeway. Uh, they kind of merge together and it really, it really builds up a lot of traffic. Now, when you're in Santa Clarita itself, there's a lot of traffic lights. Let's say you're in the Saugus area, you gotta go, you have to pre-plan maybe an extra 20 minutes in order to get to the freeway. But keep in mind that the key to managing the traffic is just good timing you know if you have a job that's kind of a nine to five there's no way around it you really you're going to be stuck in traffic so you have to really schedule your day around the traffic that is in santa clarita and leading into the san fernando valley or the greater la area now i found a chart here that goes over the the worst times and the best times in regards to traffic i hope that helps you guys out it's going to be linked down below along with a lot of other links that i have for you guys so keep that in mind i'm going to have everything labeled and clear for you guys i found an article that states that the average commute for a santa clarita resident is 77 minutes which i think is a little bit inflated i've never had that much traffic for myself, but granted, I'm relatively close to the freeway and I'm kind of flexible on my times. So I would say pre-planning is, is really important. And I know that 77 minutes for a commute is a hard pill to swallow. This is gonna be something that if you work in downtown LA in the really high traffic areas, it's something expected. You can't avoid that traffic really. Even if you're local, it's gonna be a heavy amount of traffic. So you might be asking yourself, why do people even consider moving to Santa Clarita? And it's really clear, it's because it's safe. Santa Clarita is rated the third safest city in the state of California behind Mission Viejo and San Ramon. And we're actually the 11th safest city in the country. All right, the third thing to know is that Santa Clarita has a wide variety of restaurants. Now, I've kind of bagged on Santa Clarita on the food that's available here, and that's mostly because it's commercialized. There's a lot of bigger companies out here, chain restaurants that are out here, but you're gonna get a wide variety of those restaurants. You're never gonna be out of sushi, that's for sure. Uh, it does have a Southern influence, so there's a lot of Mexican restaurants out here. Some of our go-tos are Yukaku, Japanese barbecue. That place has some awesome sushi. If my wife and I are in the mood for Korean barbecue, we like to go to Goji House. And if we want some kind of American food, American barbecue, we go to Wood Ranch. That's definitely our go-to place. We almost go there weekly, to be honest. We love that place. But really, you're not going to go wrong with any of the choices out here. It's just whatever your preference is. And Yelp is the best tool available to find the best restaurants. The fourth thing to know is that there are a ton of biking and hiking trails throughout Santa Clarita. Uh, there are over 100 miles of designated biking lanes in Santa Clarita. And just for reference, Santa Clarita is only 62 square miles. So there's a lot of biking lanes throughout Santa Clarita. So if you're a biker, you like to bike, it's a great place to be. And where we are geographically really gives us a lot of options in regards to hiking as well. There's a ton of mountain ranges around and throughout Santa Clarita. For reference, I have a hiking trail less than 100 yards from my place. The fifth thing to know is the sense of community that we have out here in Santa Clarita. Now, you have to be very specific with the neighborhood that you choose to move to. If you're in a neighborhood that does a lot of Christmas celebrations, you're in a cul-de-sac, and a lot of the streets out here try to dress every single house so that everyone has a theme throughout the, the entire street, which is awesome. There's Candy Cane Lane. There is, I mean, there's a ton of streets out, out here that have uh, a theme to them, and people actually take time out of their day to go through these streets and enjoy the lights with their kids. The sixth thing to know is that there is really no homelessness issues out here uh, because where we are geographically, we're a little bit too far away from the San Fernando Valley and LA for that to kind of come into the area. 
and is all also considered more a of a luxury area as well. The seventh thing to know is that Santa Clarita has better schools. For example, Saugus High School is in the top 10% of the state. Plum Canyon Elementary is in the top 20% of the state. You can't go wrong with any of these schools that are out here and the options are plenty, but I know that parents are really specific with the schools that they choose for their kids. So I'm gonna have some resources down below so you can do your own research. The eighth thing to know about Santa Clarita is that you're relatively close to what people go to LA for. Now we're geographically located a over the hill from the San Fernando Valley, which is an advantage and disadvantage at the same time. I, I mean, I talked about the traffic. That's something that if you're getting over, you understand, right? So you're if you're tired of, let's say, the food in the Santa Clarita Valley, you go to the San Fernando Valley. If you wanna go to a bar, you're opposite traffic, so you can go to downtown LA. You wanna go to the beach, you're about a 45 minute drive, no problem. You wanna go snowboarding, you're about 45 minutes away from Mountain High as well. Let's say you wanna to go to a lake or you wanna go camping. You got Castaic Lake and you have Pyramid Lake just north of Santa Clarita. It's not far at all and there's never traffic going that way. The ninth thing to know is that there are a ton of movies being made out here. Hollywood is known to be the mecca of movie making, but if there are larger productions, they need a lot more space and Santa Clarita has that space. For example, Disney Ranch is actually in Santa Clarita. There are a ton of large studios that take up a lot of space in Santa Clarita. A lot of the industrial spaces in Santa Clarita are designated to be film studios. So if you're in the film industry, you want to get into the film industry, this is not a bad place to be. There are tons of jobs out here in the film industry. The 10th thing to know is that there's a stable housing market. I do a lot of research on the housing market itself, being a realtor, and it's been a lot more stable than the other parts of LA County. And this is really due to the fact that there's a lot of space out here. There's a lot of new construction coming out here. There's a lot of infrastructure coming out here. A lot of people want to move to Santa Clarita. A lot of families really work very hard to actually end up in Santa Clarita. It's like their dream area, their dream home is located in the Santa Clarita Valley. But again, if you have any questions about Santa Clarita, feel free to put it in the comment section down below. But if you wanna send me a DM, send me a DM on Instagram or Facebook. A lot of people tend to do that. If they have any questions or have any inquiries, if they're looking for a home out here in Santa Clarita within the three, next three to six months, all my contact information is down below as well as all the references that I had making this video. But again, thank you so much. And if this was actually helpful for you, make sure to like the video.